Deb Nygaard with Arthur's Residential Care with today's insights from Arthur's. Today I want to talk about swallowing pills. Um, pills can be a, a really difficult thing. In the beginning, uh, when your loved one is still at home, if they're not remembering to take their medications correctly, maybe they're duplicating or taking them three or four times a day, every time they wake up they think it's morning. Uh, there are devices that you can get for the home that will um, regulate when the pills are released and so they're not even available to take at the incorrect times. Uh, but I want to talk today more about the end stages of the disease when simply managing um, pills is difficult. Sometimes you'll see that when there's a thin liquid and a solid together, um, it's confusing. They don't know how to manage both at the same time. That's why sometimes soups are difficult uh, unless it, it's all creamy and, and blended together. Uh, so if you give somebody a pocket full of pills or a handful of pills to take and then you give them water, they might pocket the pills in the side of their cheek because obviously you want them to drink the water, right? And so you drink the water and, and then they say, did you swallow them? And you know, we're still over there and they you know, drink more water. So you got to pocket the pills again because I don't know why they want me to drink all this water. but. Uh, Something that is a, a great trick that I learned from Tipa Snow is to use jam. If you put the pills on a piece of toast with jam on there, um, a lot of times with dementia, the, your brain is craving things that are super, super sweet, also salty. But uh, hide those pills in the jam. You're expecting jam to have some solid texture. It's not a thin liquid. Uh, you're expecting toast to have some um, texture. And so sometimes you can get them um, you know, if they're going to chew the pills, that might not, you might not want it on toast, but maybe a spoonful of jam would work. You could try yogurt and applesauce and pudding and all of those things as well. Uh, I hope some of those tips work for you. I'm Deb Nygaard with Arthur's Residential Care.